Hello, I am Teresa Ellswick, a member of the HCS Influencer Team. Today, we will be exploring getting started with Chatterpix on the iPad. Chatterpix is a digital tool that can be used to help your photos and your pictures come to life. Now, we're going to check out the app ChatterKid. I'm going to touch the teal and light blue happy face app on my screen. Duck, duck, moose. The duck, duck, moose intro will always be loaded when you first open the app. Welcome, Welcome to, to ChatterPix. I have two different options to start my ChatterPix. I can choose the yellow rectangle which says take photo or I can choose the red rectangle that says gallery. But first, let's take advantage of a little video that's already pre-installed on the app by clicking on the orange circle with a triangle in the bottom corner. Chatterpix Kids in five easy steps. give our photos a voice. I can choose two different options, the yellow rectangle which says take photo or the red rectangle which says gallery. I'm going to go with the gallery option that are all, that's going to include some pre-installed pictures that are already on the app. I'm going to choose the moose. When I choose the moose, I have a couple of different options. I'm going to click on the yellow rectangle in the top corner to edit this moose picture. First, I'm going to draw his mouth. The dotted line will appear where a mouth usually typically will appear. And when I touch it, a magnifier will pop up and I can draw the line for where I would like the moose's mouth to be. Now I'm going to click on the red circle with the microphone to record a voice for the moose. Record in three, three always two, the down. one, go. Hello, my name is Mr. Moose. After I touch the orange circle, it will stop my recording, and now I can play back by touching the green circle with the white triangle. Hello, my, my name is Mr. Moose. Moose. And you can see his mouth moving as well. If you're satisfied with your recording, you can click on the yellow arrow in the top corner that says Next. Now I can add different filters that I would choose for my picture. I'm just going to choose something fun, then I can choose Sticker and change the different stickers that are available. You can scroll through and see the variety of them. I'm going to touch the glasses today for the moose. Give him some glasses. Now I can choose frame. Frame is the third option on the bottom row, and I can change up the frame for my picture. I'm going to give him some winter mountains here. And now I'm going to add text, my last option. I'm going to type the title, Mr. Moose. Now that I've saved his name, I'll click the green circle and I can move the text around on the page and put it wherever I would like it. Now I'm going to click on the yellow arrow that says next. Now I'll click on the green circle to play back my video and see if I'm happy with the results. Hello, my name is Mr. Moose. If I'm good with what, I can, what I've created, I will click on the circle with the iPad and the arrow which will save it to my camera roll. Now my file will export over to my camera roll where I can find it later on. And now my export is complete. Once I'm finished, I can go back to the gallery for another creation, or I can click on the circle with the house at the top corner to go and create more chatter pics and let my pictures and my work come to life. So friends, that is how you can use chatter pics to help your pictures and photos come to life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources.